What's up guys? Today we're back with another video and today I am doing an NFL video and this is the like the underdog team. At quarterback I have Bills Josh Allen. I put Josh Allen there just because I think he's a very underrated quarterback that can be very good. Um yeah, that's all I have to say about Josh Allen. At running back number 1, I have Clyde Edwards Alaire. He was a really good college rookie uh, for, that played for LSU, and he's going to the Kansas City Chiefs, which I think was a really good pickup for them. That's why he is number one. That's why he's the number one running back on this list. The number two running back, or the fullback spot, I put Devin Singletary, also a Bill. Uh, I just I think he's such an explosive running back that can like I think he'll turn into the new Barry Sanders. At, no, at wide receiver number one, I have Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk is a very underrated wide receiver that I think can be re could be really good in the future. At backup, uh, backup wide receiver number one, I have John Brown out of the Bills. I know, I know. Don't think it's an all-Bills team. It's not. John Brown is a very underrated rookie. Well, rookie. And I think he's just such an explosive wide receiver that... He can run routes. He's very, he's fast. He's not super fast, but he's decent and fast. I just think he's gonna be really good. He might turn into the next, I don't know, Calvin Johnson. Nah, Kenny, Kenny Galladay's not on this list, but he's gonna go into Kenny. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go into Calvin Johnson. At wide receiver number two, I have Will Fuller the third. Will Fuller is gonna need some help because Watson. He likes to scramble and not throw. So, Watson, I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback. He's pretty good. But without DeAndre Hopkins, he's going to need some help. And I think Will Fuller is that right guy for him. I think he can run routes. He can catch. He's a decent run, run, uh, wide receiver. At uh, backup wide receiver number two, I have Terry McLaurin from the Washington football team. I just think Terry McLaurin is just such a good, explosive wide receiver. And if he was on any other team besides the Redskins, or maybe not, well, maybe not the Bengals or Dolphins, but like a good team like the Seahawks or the Packers, then he'd get some time to shine and he'd prove how great he is. At wide, at wide receiver number three, I have Debu Samuel. He is a really good wide receiver that got a 94 overall in Madden. And that's not the reason I put him here. I just think he's such a good player, and I just think he's underrated. Devontae Parker is wide receiver three's backup. Devontae Parker is really good. Like, he one-hands everything, but I just think that he's such underrated just because he's on the Dolphins. And at tight end, I have Jacob Hollister of the Seahawks. I put Jacob Hollister there is because... Uh, the reason I put Jacob Hollister there is because I think he's such a good w tight end. Even though he's, like, like from 2018, he's, like, such a good tight end. Like, I think he's better at Jimmy Graham at this, at this point. At offensive tackle one, I put Daniil Hunter. Daniil Hunter is a explosive offensive tackle for the Vikings. I'm surprised that they traded Linval Joseph away to the Chargers, but... I think Daniil Hunter can carry that. At offensive tackle number two, I put Anthony Costanzo of the Colts. I think Costanzo is really good at his position. I think he can like make room for Marlon Mack to run. I think that he's a really explosive offensive tackle. And yeah, just keep doing your thing. Uh, at offensive guard number one, I have Brian Balaga of the Packers. He's such underrated because the only reason Aaron Jones is such a good running back, well, two reasons. One is because he's really fast and can route run, and two is because of their offensive line. And Brian Balaga and David Bakhtiari are because of it. At offensive guard number two, I put Mike Upati of the Seahawks. I think he's really underrated because he blocks a lot, and um, I think Chris Carson has a lot of running room because of him and DJ Fluker. And, yeah. And at center, I have Russell Okung. He is a really good center for the Chargers to have, uh, well, right now, Austin Eckler, but before Melvin Gordon. Uh, just 
They're such an explosive team, especially with Ocon. Now for the defense. At defensive end one, I have Miles Garrett of the Browns. I don't think he's underrated. I think he could I think he could be brought up more just because he's on the Browns doesn't mean that he's not good. I mean they're not winning at many games, but it's not because of him. At uh, defensive end number two, I have Nick Williams. Nick Williams is a very explosive defensive end for the Lions, even though he just got traded from the Patriots. He's a really good uh, defensive end for the Lions. And at defensive tackle number one, I have Kalias Campbell of the Ravens. I don't know why the Jaguars traded him. I don't know what they got in return, though. But I, I just think he's such an explosive defensive tackle. Never gets his name heard. I think uh, Danny Shelton should be a lot better at defensive tackle number two. He is also of the Lions in the Patriot trade. But he just he should just be so powerful. He is a very good defensive tackle. Gets a lot of sacks if he gets the chance. Yeah. At safety number one, I have Kevin Byard. Kevin Byard is one of my favorite players being a Titans fan. Um, but not just because of a Titans fan. He's just such an explosive safety that never gets his name heard of. At safety number two, I have Minka Fitzpatrick of the Steelers. He just does not get any love. Even though he got that amazing pick six against the Ravens, he just does not get any love at all. I hear, people, I hear his name. I love the player, but never gets his name heard of. Quarterback number one, I have Malcolm Butler of the Titans. Malcolm Butler route runs incredibly. He got traded from the Patriots to the Titans a couple years ago, but he is such an amazing quarterback. I'm glad the Titans picked him up. Quarterback number two, I have Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde is an explosive cornerback that I think will eventually turn into Jadavius White when he retires, even though he is a safety. At n cornerback number three, I have Malik Hooker. No, it is not because of that amazing one-handed catch that he had all season. He is a pretty good route runner, and he can intercept pretty much anything after you see that clip. Uh, num and cornerback number four is A.J. Boye. He got traded from the Jaguars to the Broncos, which I was shocked. A.J. Boye just didn't get enough love because of Jalen Ramsey. And then when he get traded, he got traded. He played probably one of the worst years of his game of his life. And I don't know. He just never got. I love him either. Uh, and I'm, at linebacker number one, I have Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr really stepped his game up this, this last year, and I just think he's such an explosive linebacker that, like, backed with Harrison Smith, they're such a dynamic, a dynamic duo that I think the Vikings are going to be really good this year, even without Stephon Diggs. At linebacker number two, I have Michael Kendricks. Michael Kendricks is an explosive linebacker that the Seahawks drafted. Or, I think, traded. One of those. And he has been such good paired with Bobby Wagner. They are amazing. At, at uh, middle linebacker number one, I have Miles Jack. Miles Jack of the Jaguars is so just explosive. But with uh, Gardner Minshew at quarterback and Leonard Fournette maybe retiring soon, he just does not have room to shine. And at uh, middle linebacker, number two, to finish this list off, I have Clay Matthews of the Rams. Used to be a Packer, and he shined brightly when everyone was talking about him. Then he went to the Rams, and nobody talked about him. I think he's still a really explosive linebacker, and I think that he should get more love than he does. All right, guys, that's the list. Sorry, no special teams. See you later.